A brand new Marist poll says 58% of Americans think Trump will be remembered as either below average or the worst president ever. On the campaign trail, Trump supporters said his ratings would actually rise from that divisive election because some of the grandiose promises would become reality. Take Trump's surrogate, David Wool, who joins me tonight. He once predicted this. The bottom line, my takeaway is simpler is better. Everybody keeps saying, well, why? He's not saying anything. He's not detailing anything. We don't have any microanalysis of his policies, but everybody loves what he says. He'll be able to do it, I guarantee you, because big money can hire great advisors. There is one person who says Donald Trump has actually done better than anyone in history. Guess who? Over the last nine months, we have removed job-killing regulations at a record pace. In fact, in nine months, we have done more, they say, than any president in history. And we're nine months, and there's more to come. Historic. I'm joined by that former Trump campaign surrogate, attorney David Wall, as well as Julian Epstein, former chief counsel of the House Judiciary Committee and a Democratic strategist. Uh, Julian, your view. I think this is mostly a story of a con job and betrayal to Trump voters who thought they were buying into health care reform, who thought they were buying into the wall and the Muslim ban. And all they got in return was a red hat, a big golf bill. Uh, that the taxpayers have to pay and a pretty bad triumph the insult dog imitation this is the least accomplished <laughs> president in modern history presidents uh, and this history is always measured by because of the way our system is set up by legislative accomplishments that a president can achieve most of our modern presidents have achieved at least one major major legislative victory this president has none his numbers are in the dumps are at about 37 percent he's the least popular president in modern history and and even on things that he touts like jobs. President Obama did more for jobs in 2016 than Trump has done for jobs in 2017. It's a pretty miserable record so far, and it doesn't show any signs of getting better. David? Well, Ari, uh, you know, I did, never could have dreamed that President Trump would have accomplished as much as he has in the first nine months. I mean, think about this. Lowest job unemployment claim rate since 1973. That's 45 years. The stock market is up 25 percent to over 23,000. First time ever. We've got illegal immigration cut to about 53 percent. We've got ISIS being crushed, territory in Iraq being taken from ISIS at record levels. Now, to say that President Trump hasn't accomplished anything, well, he, he's on, well on the road to the tax uh, cut policy, which will get $4,000 savings for the average we're American, stick up to, to the, $10,000 We're going to stick to the record of things He's that well have happened, but David, okay. we're going to stick yeah, to the, the you know, the, right analysis. on, wait, wait, we're going to go David Let, and then Julia. David, you have to stick to things that have happened, not that will right. happen, because I'm just not good enough at my job to, to grade predictions. Uh, finish up, and then I go back to Julia. Net exporting in petroleum, we we've, we've, first time ever we're next net exporting, which is because Mr. Trump, President Trump, has cut right, deregulated basically the industry, which has saved us billions of dollars and will bring billions into America. He's accomplished a lot, but the bottom line is the media isn't covering what he accomplishes. The media jumps David, on it for you're every on little thing show they can possibly right find. Now. You're like on the show right the now with we're the media. About today. Save right. it with I the am. media. We're, save and, and it. Thank we you, invite Ari, you on the show the to shows. get your perspective, so save and, it with the media. And you're, and you're so getting, you use and you're your time it. on that. What that was your choice as a lawyer. Julian's turn. What about the jobless claims being down? With all due respect, David's recitation is a kind of bunch of weasel remarks that Trump, only the most died in the weasel world Trump remarks? reporters. They're reality. Yeah, they're kind of, no, they're weasel talking points. And let me tell you why. You make really? the point about the stock market. There's been no change in economic policy since Trump became uh, president. He's riding on the coattails of the Obama economic policy, which he hasn't oh, really? changed. Same with the jobs. Really? President Trump has created fewer jobs in 2017 than Obama created in 2016. You talk about ISIS. Most of the territory that has been reclaimed, the ISIS-controlled territory, was reclaimed under the Obama years. Trump has, re has recovered maybe about a quarter of it at most. Uh, these things that you talk about were things that were occurring naturally because of the autopilot nature ah, of the government. When Trump is that what you has said? Not been me, no, 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 but let me explain it to you, David. Let me explain it to you. Obama, nothing, nothing, nothing major. 
No, Nothing no. major is going to economic... change until you have a legislative change, right. which the president has not been able to do for a number of reasons. One of which, he doesn't understand legislation. He was talking, just take a look at what he did to Lamar Alexander the other day. Two nights ago, he said, well, great what he's doing with uh, on health care reform. We ought to right. encourage it. Then the next day, he pulled the rug out you know, from under so let me go to David. I'm gonna, David, I'm going to go yeah. back to you. Uh, right. In the clip we played during the campaign, you said something that I heard on the trail from a lot of Trump supporters, which is the guy runs a business, he'll put good people in even if he doesn't have experience. And I could understand that argument. Let me show you how far back he lags behind every other recent president in both parties on appointments. This is things he can just do. He can pick these people. And he's behind by half. You know, Obama and Bush double him at this point. Um, why do you think this president, who you said would put in people, can't even fill the posts? Well, he's got he's got not just opposition, but complete obstruction. But these are the appointments, and frankly, from David, some David, of the these are appointments. This is not a party. Let me just before I want to get your well, answer. But those are appointments, have to be confirmed, not Ari. But we're not. No, no, no. We're, the, we're the nominations the haven't been submitted. He has David. not submitted them. Go the ahead. The nominations haven't been right. submitted. Well, let's let's get them submitted. I would agree with that. But the idea somehow that Trump's accomplishments are Obama's accomplishments. Did you say in the great economic boom of 2009 and 2010 that George Bush? Bush was responsible for that? Of course not. No, you Everybody know why? wants to pull the rug out David, from President you're, Trump you're, you're, and give you're, Obama the credit. And that's your arguments are absurd. Garbage. And you know the reason, it is, the, Julian. The, your arguments are absurd. The reason why nobody would say the boon in 2009 was attributable to George Bush was because in the first year, President Obama did what? He accomplished when, a major legislative reform with a stimulus package. You know, you, he saved Julian, the auto industry. If you keep interrupting you me, know. we can have a conversation, David. Now, you know, um, you know what? Save you the know. auto industry. David, please let me finish. Save the auto industry widely credited on Wall Street and elsewhere as reversing the turnaround in, economy, in the economy that the Republicans brought us. This president has not filled, as Ari was just pointing out, the executive branch with staff. More than half the senior level positions right. have still not even been sent up. Last uh, time, because we're out of time, David, I give uh, you a quick final word. We are out of time. Last David, I final checked, word. He does have, he's created a million, maybe more than a million, million point two five new jobs. Uh, he's Fewer done incredible Obama things in the with the economy, year. and you cannot look. The, the stock market reacts to promises, to ideas, and to to people that are in power. That's what's happening now. Promises. That's why you're seeing this record rate, these and are, it's going to keep and improving. And one great these, these are President these are Thomas made as a promise. Cap, of the I have a projects. promise to fit in a break. David Wool, Julian Epstein, thank you both. Thank you for talking to each thank other. That's right. what we need in this country. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.